Um, hey guys, it's me, Nina, and Snorkel. Oh, he's a little camera shy. Today, I'm gonna show you how to write and send a letter. So something you guys might not know about me is that I love writing letters. I actually, these are all of the letters that I've received in the last like couple of years. And the reason why I love writing letters is because obviously it's a way for me to keep in touch with people but it's also a space where I can let people know how I am feeling. So we have a routine at Girls Inc. where every day we do a check-in about how we're feeling, but often you all will come up to us outside of our group check-ins just to say that you need to talk to someone about how you're feeling, you wanna check in with a friend, you wanna check in with an adult, and in case I haven't said it before, I'm really proud of you guys every time that you make the choice to do that. And right now, we can't be together in person at Girls Inc. every single day like we're used to. But it is really important that while you're staying home, you find other ways to check in with people about how you're feeling. And I want you all to think about why it's important to talk to people about our feelings. How does it make you feel when you tell someone how you're doing and you feel heard? And today, we are going to let someone know how we're doing by writing them a letter. I have been writing a lot of letters since I've been staying home. I have like a whole list of people that I write to who have told me that they're here to support me, who I feel comfortable telling how I'm feeling. Things have been weird and I need to talk to people about it. So just like I have my list of people that I'm going to be talking to about how I'm feeling, I wanna challenge all of you to come up with a list of people that you would feel comfortable talking to right now. It could be your friends from Girls Inc., your friends from school, your extended family. You can even write a letter to your dog. No matter who you decide to send your letter to, let's go ahead and get started. Here are the things that you are going to need to send a letter. Paper, your favorite pen, an envelope, your friend's address, stamps, and some things to decorate your envelope with when you are done. You're always gonna start your letters by writing dear whoever the name of the person you are writing to in the top left corner. In this case, I'm writing to Girls Inc. And in the top right corner, you are going to put today's date. And now you get to actually start writing your letter to your friend. You can let them know what you've been up to, how you've been doing, what you've been thinking about. You can give them instructions for how to build a paper airplane. You can draw them something. Letters are super fun because it's kind of like making art and then sharing it with someone you care about. And don't forget that you can send a letter to someone even if they don't live that far away from you. And then sign your name when you're done. Now we're going to head over to our envelope and the very first thing you're going to do is write your own address in the top left corner. This is called the return address. That way, if something goes wrong with your letter, it will just get sent back to you. And just so everybody knows this is not my real address, the internet is not a safe place to publish where you live. Now it's time to address your letter, so let's go over how to write down an address. The first line is the name of the person you are writing to. The second line is the house number and street that your friend lives on. The third line is the city and state that they live in. And the fourth line is their zip code. A good way of getting one of your friend's addresses if you don't already have it is by asking one of your parents to reach out to one of theirs. Let them know you want to write your friend a letter and that you won't share their address with others because you know it's personal information. Place your stamp on the upper right corner of your envelope. And I also put some stickers on mine because I had some. Fold up your letter and put it in your envelope. I also took a picture of Snorkel and threw it in there. Lick the sticky flap on your envelope, seal it shut, and you know, maybe make sure yours isn't upside down like mine was. And now with your letter in hand, you can head outside to your mailbox, open it up, throw your letter in, and lift up the flag so that the Postal Service knows to come and get and then deliver your letter. All right, that's it on letter writing. Remember, if you have any questions about how to format your letter or finding a friend's address, make sure you ask your parents. And happy letter writing and receiving. See you later.